everybody, my name is Darling or Keaton and welcome back to another video and I am very excited for this one actually. This has been in the works and yeah, I'm super excited. Welcome to my Family Dynamics Challenge Let's Play. Family Dynamics Challenge is kind of been around for a while and I've been wanting to do it for a really long time but I just really couldn't settle down and do it. I finally decided that I wanted to do it and the original sim that I made for it, her name is Gianna. I did a creative sim for her like a long time ago, probably back in whenever Growing Together came out. So that was probably in June or July, I think. Maybe even further back than that. That's crazy, actually. But Growing Together is kind of a flop. Like, I won't even lie. A lot of the Sims 4 packs are flop. I want to finally do gameplay and... And I finally decided to do it with Family Dynamics um, because this is a very near and dear challenge to me because it is actually one of the reasons I started playing Sims 4 again back in 2022, I believe. Um, I did stop playing Sims 4. I played it on release, but then I stopped playing after I realized how bad the game was and I didn't pick it up until 2022 again. I, I played here and there, but I didn't start playing actually until last year. And I found a YouTuber by the name of Elena and she's like my biggest inspiration you know, whatever, even though she doesn't post that often. But yeah, she did Family Dynamics and that made me want to play Family Dynamics. And I just think it's a super cute challenge because it's all about like the different dynamics that families can be, you know, it's not always going to be a white picket fence, but you know, that's what we're doing. So to get into the challenge, I will the um the graphics up right now. The first generation in which Gianna is going to be is the white picket fence generation. For the time that you strike out on your own as a young adult, you dream of cultivating a loving familial relationship as rich and unique as the dishes you love to create. You marry younger than some of your friends, raise a bundle of children, and enjoy gardening and entertaining in your spare time. Yet you still devote a portion of your life in your hidden dream of becoming a master chef. Um, the three traits that she have have are outgoing, foodie, family oriented, of course, and her aspiration is to have a successful lineage. Her career is going to be in the culinary career, and some of the rules that we have to follow are complete at least five gold level dinner parties. I have never done that. Um, master cooking and baking skills. I don't know if that includes gourmet cooking because that's like a separate skill entirely. Um, marry as a young adult and stay happily married until death to us part, have three to four children, maintain a garden with at least 10 unique plants, including a cow plant. I've never done that either. Um, and complete at least three fourths level of the aspiration of the successful lineage one. And upon completing level five of the culinary career, you may also choose to leave the career and open a restaurant instead. That might be a little bit complicated. I don't know if I'll do that. The restaurant stuff is like so hands-on, so I don't know. So let's jump into a little bit of gameplay right now. Um, the lighting is a little bit weird. I am playing with Cranberry by Elena, the G-Shade, and I turn MXAO off and on a lot. I do it for screenshots. Um, it's not great for gameplay. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Let me know how you feel about the, the shadows or not. It's kind of overwhelming in the house, I'm not sure. So I am playing in Lost in Sophie's save. I found it on Tumblr and it's a super cute save. I just didn't want to play in the base game world, you know? And she had an original house here. I wish I had the picture of it, what it was at first, um, but I redid it. And I am not that much of a builder, but like, it's cute. Like I kept the main, um, the main blueprint of what it originally was and kind of did my own thing. Um, Cause I do really like some for building. It's like, the best out of the whole entire sim series but with all the custom content i have i get super overwhelmed and build and buy so like that's why a lot of stuff doesn't match but what i had going on was like she like wants to become like a polished you know chic elegant kind of you know stay-at-home mom who does like her her baking and her cooking and all of that but she's not that you know she's like 20 years old and just you know fresh out of high school not fresh out of high school but you know, she's kind of just been bouncing around and moved to Copperdale. She's actually, what well, my storyline is, is that she inherited this house from her grandparents. You know, that's why it has a lot of the old furniture and some new stuff because she obviously wants to renovate it. And she has some of her own touches here and there. But we have the living room, which I think is super cute. I don't like to do a lot of like, like I said, I get really overwhelmed in building by. So some things look like out of place that's why the kitchen is super cute i have a little breakfast or breakfast table oh i forgot to i totally forgot to introduce the other character <laughs> is a little bernie's dog oh 
Bernie's mountain dog. Her name is Kitty. <laughs> and she's the cutest thing ever. Sims 4 pets do look a little bit funky, but she is... I don't even know where I got her from, to be honest, but she's super cute. Um, just look up Bernie's Mountain Dog Sims 4 download and you'll find her for sure. She's super cute. Um, if you didn't know, I have a Bernie's Mountain Dog in real life, so I wanted to have one in The Sims 4 and her name is Kitty because I saw a TikTok of one named Kitty and I had to do that. And she's a glutton friendly and hairy and that is very accurate to real Bernie's Mountain Dogs. What was I talking about? Oh, the house. Um, yeah, so it's pretty much like a loft, like one bedroom house, which is not gonna work for what we have planned. But that is in the future when we have a baby. But upstairs is more her style, like contemporary, is this contemporary boho kind of vibes? It's cute though. Um, we got some knickknacks here and there, and then we have the the connected bathroom, which is a shower tub combo because we need that for Kitty. And yeah, it's super cute. And we have the little half bath down here that I figure that will eventually turn into a full bath when we have more Sims in the house. And in the backyard, we just have a little cooking station or cooking set up in the back. Nothing too crazy. I did obviously use money sheets for this, but... It's neither here nor there. If we can afford our bills, I won't know. And what really inspired me to start this Let's Play is because of the most recent expansion pack, which was Home Chef Hustle. And that includes the, the food stand, which I thought could be an interesting concept to add into her joining the culinary career and that she could do that on the side while you know, doing all of this. I do have a romantic interest already placed into the world and hopefully we run into him soon. He is in a different career path and lives in a different world, but I do think that we will run into each other, especially because, you know, that's how Sims 4 is. She is just eating her breakfast now. I was working on some of her skills already, her cooking skills. I had to play a day already and also take pictures because I, oh, I have this little picture of her up here with, with Kitty. I had to take a picture for the thumbnail and then obviously to put put on the wall because you know and she has hairy legs so don't even mind that we'll get rid of that eventually not that there's anything wrong with it so the first thing that we're going to do is get our job find a job and we're going to enroll in the culinary career and we have a little bit of culinary skill already we are going to need to work on that especially since we want to do some stuff with the the stand and i think that's what we're going to do next after this since she's not gonna have work so we are going to enroll in the culinary career you've all seen culinary skill or job and other people's like we've we all know what it is okay so kitty uh, something's wrong with her i think i don't know we're gonna ask her to go potty because she still has to learn all this stuff since we just got her technically i have a few things in our in our fridge so i have some cupcakes and i'm gonna take these and we are going to go to the Okay, just for this, like, let's play beginning, I am turning off her period. Like, I can't do that right now. And Kitty's using the bathroom. She pooped right in front of the the house, of course. And we're gonna throw that away inside. And then we are gonna go out and maybe sell some of our food. Oh, there is. So let's do that. We're gonna go to the Little Falls Park. I haven't explored much of the save, but this could be interesting. Okay, so we arrived at the park with Kitty and minus the leg hair. They are being very cute as soon as we arrive. But we're not really here for Kitty, unfortunately. We are here to start our business and see what's up. Let's see if people like our product. That's what that's what's up. Um, and we have a couple people. We already have a superstar here, which isn't good. And I'm on the lookout for our potential spouse, but I want I'm like crossing my fingers that they like each other because that was like a whole debacle in my other let's play so how does this work i'm just gonna put it like smack dab in the middle of the park like okay hopefully they're smart enough to like okay 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 open and we're gonna put these cupcakes in and then we're gonna start a food sale and open no change business details brand it oh my god what do we do gianna's delights that's what we have right now because i don't know okay so let's go tender table. We, all we have right now are cupcakes, but they are delicious. Let's do 25%. Only $3? Markup price is more. We're doing 50%. And what is Kitty doing? She's just running around. Oh, there's other dogs. <gasps> I didn't even think. We have to get her spade. She's gonna... Oh, she's just sitting in front of... Oh. Can we, like, entice people? 
Oh yeah, give sales pitch. That's what we want to do. Convince to buy our cupcakes. Stop talking to the damn dog. Like what? Okay, back to tending the table. We got $4. Okay. Can we convince another person? Give sales pitch. It's really distracting because all of, there's like dogs just barking at us. Hopefully Kitty's having a grand time. Damn, we're popular. And I'm hoping he shows up because we, he has a dog. So I'm kind of hoping. Okay, we're making sales. We're making sales though. And there's a club gathering. So people are getting hungry. Oh, why is she sad? Purpose of life from unfulfilled dreams. Mentor a child skill, have a child, and pass. Okay. Um, so we're gonna go use the bathroom. But like the wants and fears are just so stupid sometimes. Like, girl, we just started. We're not having a kid. Let's ask her to go potty. There's a it's cause there's a celebrity here. We can't do anything. <gasps> That's him. That's him. He's here. He's here. Okay, so this is him. This is Rishi. I actually downloaded him and I will link him in the description and he is super fine. And yeah, I think she's kind of the zaddy that she's going for. And um, So I kind of wanted them to meet like this. So we're going to attend the table and maybe hopefully he'll come over. Or maybe Kitty even will go up to him. Let's give him a sales pitch. Come here. No, he left. That was him though. So we got our entrepreneur skill from doing our side hustle um on the road to fame so we made 16 dollars i don't know if that's worth it but like that's definitely better than nothing so you know maybe we can pay rent um let's buy a lottery ticket i never do that how do you purchase a lottery ticket for a hundred dollars it's like not even how much we made today so it's not worth it so i just i guess we just got a glimpse of her future husband and like he doesn't even know it you know should we talk to people? Who can we be friends with? Don? That's kind of a moment. Let's give him a funny introduction. Um, let's tell him a funny story. Confess our attraction. Just ask about his day. Get to know him. Johnny Zest. We're attracting all the men except the men that we want. You know, as usual. Um, what's Kitty up to? She's so tired. They're just casually having a conversation behind us. No problem she looks cute we need friends like that's my biggest problem in sims 4 is i just can't like i don't talk to people and she already doesn't like us okay okay let's just ask about your health and say that you're in bad health oh she's an artist i can definitely see that she's she's super cute though can you please be our friend oh she just left okay um so i guess that's our cue to leave as well Doing one last check that he's not here. He left. So let's go home with Kitty and feed her. And <gasps> why did she just change into her swimwear? Um, <laughs> She's cute though. She's cute though. Is that him? No, it's not. It's a dark dreamer. What the f- I told her to go home and she's swimming home. What is happening? literally what is happening i guess our house is here why is she swimming home as this has to be a glitch why did she do that i'm genuinely like so confused and i've never seen that happen i guess I've, i never play the game so i wouldn't know but i imagine that swimming home isn't usually in the plans um so let's go ahead and pet her make sure that she's okay like my biggest fear is her running away so we gotta make sure she's okay let's give her a treat and she needs to be brushed a lot so let's go ahead and give her a quick brush um okay so what we need to do is put these cupcakes back and we need to work on our own dinner let's make let's see let's make a hamburger slider we need to work on our cooking skill so and obviously like we need more kitchen space but uh, we have a lot more priorities and that includes us paying our bills so before we work on renovations because obviously we're gonna need another room for when we have a kid and i don't even know i'm probably just gonna have to extend the whole house because it's just really not gonna fit but like what is the whole point of the mixer just to make batter like i don't understand oh you can make dough um and another thing that we have to do is buy seeds but i don't have um a computer i just realized so but since we already have some dough still i think right 
Yeah, I do. So we're gonna go ahead and bake some pre-mixed brownies because we have some batter and hopefully get our baking skill up. So I think that's what we're primarily going to be selling at our food stand because it would be kind of nasty to leave like regular food out. You can make like literally nothing. So we're just gonna have to keep spamming brownies until we can make something. Okay, now we have level two baking and we can cook oatmeal, cookies, cereal, marshmallows, squares, bread, and fish pie. Um, she can bake cream tarts, powdered donuts, and glazed donuts at the cupcake factory. Okay, that is too crazy. And now we have three plates of brownies and I don't know what to do with those. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and turn in for the night and I will get back to you in the morning. So it is 7 a.m. in the morning right now and Gianna is waking up and the first thing we are going to do is actually pee first. And then we will shave our legs and she has work at, oh, okay, okay. What's wrong with her? She's just barking. Um, and we have work at two hours, two hours, and we need to prepare food or mix drinks and we already did that actually. Oh no, Kitty's afraid of the shower. Oh, I guess she was too close to it. She just teleported out. You're crazy. Um, let's calm her down. I'm sorry, girl. We won't make you get in the shower. We need to focus on getting our breakfast. We're just gonna have a fruit salad because I think that will be the fastest and we need to work on our cooking, so. And she reached cooking level three and learned a couple of other things, which is great. Um, come on, girl, eat. Everything takes forever in some sort. Okay, and she's clocking into work, looking a mess, of course. And, oh my god, some guru Lindsay won the lottery, okay. Um, okay, so I'll get back to you when she's back, and this is too cute. And I'll get back to you when she's, oh, when she's back from work. So Gianna is home now, and she brought home $120, so nothing. And I, like, I think the house is like, oriented in a weird way i don't know they always come from like random spots so i think um today or well, i guess we are going to take some of our stuff and go sell it we have to take we have 10 days okay we have to take literally all of this and we are going to head back out let's go somewhere else this time let's go to where i think our man will be and we're gonna go to my Shuno Meadows because he lives here and hopefully he'll pull up. Oh my god, this is a huge lot. Um, and we need to change that outfit. Let's change it to our second outfit. Her very cute outfit. Even though, oh, it's hot. It's hot AF out and I, she's gonna be wearing Uggs. Whatever. Let's give her a hug. Oh, she wants affection. Well, let me give it to you. So we're gonna put our thing smack dab in the middle, of course. And we are going to open and put all of our things in here and then start our food sale and ten table and wait for the money to come pouring in it's all pre-mixed brownies oh we have celeste here she's the star girl of this this is cute this is cute and let's look for our man i i imagine that he would be here don is here because he's a creep he's always out at the park um we have a couple of familiar faces showing up already Oh, they already have little tables here. Oh, we have Lily Fang waiting for hers. Let's give her a sales pitch. Oh, she got some brownies. Okay. It's a bad sales day. Oh, this dog is so sad. Poor girl, Maddie. Where is everyone? I'm about to start spawning people in. Give sales pitch. Come on, girl. Let's make them money. Victor Fang is here. Her husband pulled up. My dog is too cute. She's distracting everyone. He's here. He's here. Oh my god, he's here. We need him to pull up. He's here. Oh my god. Friendly introduction. Give him a sales pitch. He needs he needs to buy something from us. And he's like, oh my god, like she makes hella good. Oh, we're balling out right now. <gasps> Dedicated follower of fashion. She likes what he's wearing. Oh, he didn't buy anything though. Okay, well, at least we met him. Okay, that's better than nothing. Oh my god, my dog is just distracting everybody. They're making- she's making everyone leave. Like, I don't even have time to, to talk to them and give them the food. I don't know how efficient this is. We have some returning customers. They couldn't get enough. 